Good afternoon, I'm Richard from brianshrimp.co.za. This afternoon I'm going to demonstrate a very simple process on how to hatch brine shrimp. Now we're shooting this video once from an iPhone, so forgive any imperfections. Okay, I've got a simple ice cream tub here, it's a 5 litre ice cream tub, we've got 2 litres of water. So we're going to just throw the water in. An interesting thing here is that I'm using tap water. Now, I don't recommend tap water. It's not the best source. The eggs prefer mature water that has got all the chemicals out. What I like to do normally is I take water out of my fish tank and use that mature water. It gives you much better hatch rate. But for demonstration purposes and to show you how simple it is, we're just using tap water. At brownshop.co.co today, we sell hatching salt. Now, this hatching salt just seems to work so much better than the commercially brought salt. I can highly recommend it. It's inexpensive and it just it really works. On all of our products, we've got instructions. We normally recommend one and a half teaspoons per 500 milliliters of water. So in two liters, that will equate to six teaspoons. Now, I'm sure you can see I'm not being very exact, but that's the point of the video. I want to show you how easy it is to hatch these shrimp. You don't have to be exact. We're using tap water, we're using salt. Four, five, six teaspoons. Now, it is quite important to dissolve the salt and just let the water settle because we don't want the salt dissolving while the eggs are in there. So just give it a good stir. That should do the trick. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use very little eggs just for demonstration purposes. And now what I do is I simply sprinkle them on the surface of the water. I'm not going to put too many. Now, the amazing thing here is I'm not even going to stir those eggs in. I'm just going to leave them like that. Simply sprinkled on top of the water, we're done. Tomorrow, we're going to come back, and check out our hatch rate, see if this method has worked. I can guarantee you one thing, once you've learned this method, the bubbles, the incubation, all that, you'll probably use it now, you won't use it anymore because this is just so simple and so fantastic. We'll have a look tomorrow. Hi, we're back. We've had an extremely successful brine shrimp patch. Now what I've done is I've put a torch, or a flashlight as they call it in America, against the ice cream tub. The amazing thing about brine shrimp is that they're actually attracted to light. So this, that I'm going to demonstrate now, is a very handy method to remove the brine shrimp from the salt water and to get the brine shrimp by themselves. No eggs, no salt water, get them ready for feeding to the fish. What I'm going to do now, is I'm just going to use a normal 5mm aquarium hose and I'm actually going to siphon the brine shrimp out of the ice cream tub. It works like a little vacuum cleaner. So what you do, just get the siphon going. I like to use a clean jug, because remember, this is what you're actually going to be feeding your fish from. So I'll put that down just to get extra suction, and I'll start siphoning. As you can see, it works like a little vacuum cleaner. And we're siphoning out just the live branch of the swimming artemia. We're not actually siphoning out any eggs. For the sake of the demonstration, I think that should be enough. Okay. So we've got the branch of just in the uh, jug with water. There's no eggs, there's no um, nothing else, just the brine shrimp. These nets um, are extremely effective for sieving the brine shrimp out of the water. You can get these nets once again from our website at www.brineshrimp.co.za. Now, I'm just going to pour the shrimp through here. And what you'll see is the actual orange ball of brine shrimp. It's amazing because when we finished with this, there's no eggs, just the brine shrimp. Okay, so if you have a look at that, it's pure brine shrimp. No eggs, nothing else. Another very handy tip is you can actually put this in the fridge and keep it cool if you don't want to feed everything to your fish at one time. When the water cools down, it actually slows the metabolism of the brine shrimp down so they live longer. Now this, once you've got the brine shrimp on the net, it's very handy, you can just flick it into the tank, you're not polluting your tank with salt water, and it's excellent, excellent food for fry. 
So that's it. We've demonstrated the very simple method of patching your branch up without an incubator, without bubbles, without all the fancy equipment. Simple ice cream tub, hose, light. It's a new method. Hopefully you'll put it to use and find some value in it. Okay, time for a little disclaimer. Now we're not suggesting that you don't use branch and patcheries or any of the many methods available. Because I'll be the first to acknowledge you'll probably get a better hatch rate because these products were specifically designed for the purpose. We're simply offering an alternative. Who knows, if you're fry hatch and you desperately need to feed them in a hurry, the more methods you've got, the more information you've got, the more you can experiment, the quicker you can feed those fish. So thank you very much for watching our video and good luck with hatching your shrimp.